Hello, and welcome to Nosmelier. Take a seat at the bar. Wasn't funny the first time, isn't funny this time. Let's keep at it and see what happens. Hello, my name is Guy Kelly and this is No Smellier, a YouTube series where a man without a sense of smell reviews alcohol-free beers, wines and spirits and increasingly asks himself, why don't I just buy a clip-on bow tie? These are really difficult to do. So I lost my sense of smell about six years ago and that has very strongly affected my sense of taste. So I thought, what with COVID running rampant and taking a lot of people's senses of smell from them, what better time to start an incredibly niche YouTube series um, for the, <laughs> the discerning, non-smelling, non-drinker. Um, I realised that I did sort of want something like this to exist. As I said in my previous video where I reviewed a Sipsmith, no, that's an actual gin, a Seedlip. Um, kind of wish that that had existed because I was curious to try it but I also knew that without the sort of interest and the depth of flavour that a sense of smell can bring to a drink it's a bit hit or miss you might just end up buying something and find out oh it just tastes like generic mouth liquid so on that note uh, today we are reviewing McGuigan Zero Shiraz Alcohol Free it's a fancy wine uh, this describes itself as <clears throat> subtle spice and vanilla notes, complemented by plum and dark cherry aromas. Oh dear. This dark Shiraz has good length of flavour with sweet black currants and a balanced finish. Uh, then it goes on and produced by McGuigan Wine, Silver City Highway, Baronga, New South Wales, Australia. Imported by Australian Vintage UK Limited. Sorry, blah, 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 blah. Refrigerate after opening and consume within two days. How long has this been in the fridge? Uh, I opened it yesterday. Splendid! We're within the limits. Uh, then it tells you that there's objects in there, various E-numbers, thickeners, sulfites, blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, this bit's in Dutch. Right. So this contains de-alcoholised wine, 95%, grape juice concentrate, preservatives, thickener, and sulphates. It recommends that it is served chilled. So we've got a fancy glass, because I'm a fancy boy. Ah, it's a red liquid, like grown-ups drink. Obviously, the um, the first taste, first step of wine tasting is look for the legs on the inside of the glass, but of course the legs are a result of the alcohol being in the fluid. So there's fuck all in this. Uh, then you'd smell it again. Bit of a waste of time for a guy with no sense of smell. So we're going to go. Actually, no. What senses do we have? We can certainly look at it. Looks like a wine, if that's important to you. Um, if you want to pretend you're drinking wine, heck, if you're running a theatre production, you don't want to get wasted, but you do have to look like you're drinking wine on stage. Uh, beyond that, looks like a wine, doesn't it? Let's give it a honk. First thing that you get is it's... It feels like it's heavy on the tannins. Or, if not tannins, there's a... Um, an astringency to it, like it feels like it sort of dries the mouth. Sharpness on the back of the tongue. Um, so, here's the thing, even when I could smell, I wasn't particularly great at describing flavours. Like, oh, thank you for that. Red wine, it tastes like a red wine. Um, and now that I can't even go, yep, yeah, that smells like a fruit, I realise this might not be terrifically in-depth. But, if you were thinking about what an alcohol-free wine tastes like, it tastes like... I mean, it's to no one's surprise when I say grape juice, is it? Um, it tastes like a... Tastes like a moderately high-end blackcurrant and raspberry. Like like an innocent fruit juice drink. I mean innocent the brand, not like a fruit juice that has yet to have its childhood taken by war. Um, it, it tastes sort of like that. It's um, 
there's a sweetness to it. There is um, the real sort of drying property, as I mentioned earlier, the tannins. Like it feels a bit, a bit like cranberry juice on the tongue with that, but without cranberry flavour. I mean, it's quite nice. Maybe, um, maybe like a cherry juice. Does it taste like wine? No. <laughs> um, again, if you can smell things, there's probably a lot going on in the nose. There's probably fruits, you know, like people describe when they're describing actual wine. Um, but without that, it just tastes like a slightly sharper fruit juice. There's none of the mouthfeel that comes with with wine and the alcohol in wine. Again, when you drink something with alcohol, you can very much feel it. It's sort of there's a little bit of a tingle, there's a warmth that comes, there's there's none of that in this. That's partly because I'm drinking it cold, but it tells you to drink it cold. I think if I was drinking this warm, it would just taste like this. But warm? Can I discern any specific fruits? Nope. It just tastes like a dry fruit juice. I get the feeling that a whole lot of these videos are going to be like this. Um, with the seed lip stuff, it's going to be, mmm, what does this taste like? Tonic water. With the wines, it's going to be, what does this taste like? Fruit juice. Um, I'm excited to get started in alcohol-free beers, because at the very least, at the very least, they're fizzy. God, that's a low bar, isn't it? Um, what would I drink this with? Would I have this with... Like, I like a glass of wine with a steak. Would this complement, you know, your your heavy proteins? I wouldn't have this with a steak. I'd maybe like a pork, something quite fatty, because it's got the, like I say, the astringency that would cut through that quite nicely. Um, would I recommend this over just fruit juice? It might be less sugary. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Carbohydrates. Of which sugars, four and a half grams of sugar per hundred mil. I've got nothing to compare that with. It's interesting as a curiosity. Best I can manage is it just tastes like a dry fruit juice. It's nice enough. I wouldn't say it's a wine replacement. Maybe I am hunting for the wrong thing. Maybe I'm looking for maybe I'm looking for the mouthfeel of wine, that that rich sort of the sensation of alcohol that just fills your mouth. And I don't think I'm going to get that at least not with this because I'm not sure what you'd I'm not sure what you'd use for that. Hmm. Is it worth the money? Hang on. Let me pause this and find out how much it costs. Welcome back. See, at some point, I'll actually do my research and have this information to hand beforehand, or I'll monetize the channel, and that's where an advert would kick in. As it stands, that's my lack of preparation. Uh, this is about four to five quid a bottle, um, which you could maybe get a bottle and a half of decent fruit juice. For that, this isn't too bad. If you want something that feels a little bit more grown up to drink with a meal, like I say, especially something fatty, maybe a bit of fish. I can see this being really nice. Just a glass of it, sitting in the sun. Maybe top it up with lemonade, make a sort of... But again, that's just making fizzy pop. Uh, is it a wine substitute? Not really. Is it worth the money? Sure, if you want something that's a little more interesting and it's not uh, either just a generic soft drink or one of those fancy fizzy bottles of pop that's crammed with sugar. The aftertaste, again, like just the astringency is the big thing for this. There's a there's sort of edge of sweetness to it. It's quite astringent. I think for four quid, that's all right. Is this how people review these things? I can't smell anything. What more do you want from me? Um, 
Let me know if you've tried this. Let me know if there are any... <laughs> what, a, what a damp way to end this. Um, let me know if there are any particular alcohol-free wines that you've tried, uh, whether whites or reds. I don't I mean, does this count as a red? If you, if you blindfolded me and put a gun to my head, I probably wouldn't be able to tell you that this was a wine. Again, I think it was a cherry juice or a cranberry juice. But it's only four quid. You want something a bit different that comes in a glass bottle and looks like a wine? Um, give it a go. Would I buy it again? Probably not. But I didn't hate it. And it's considerably, uh, considerably cheaper and depressed me considerably less than the seed lip that I previously tried. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please do consider subscribing, following, or whatever it is YouTube does. At some point, these are going to start being written and planned and probably not, you know, framed by this. Uh, maybe at some point I'll start wearing makeup. But until then, thank you. There will be more of these coming soon. Please do comment if you're a Nosmic or if you're not drinking or if you're both, because I can't be the only... <laughs> Uh, a Nosmic person who's currently off the booze. Thank you very much for watching. This has been oh, maybe 10 minutes worth. Have a good rest of your day. Or don't. I'm not the boss of you. Stop it.